Hey everyone, Alan Kavana coming to you from Mooresville, North Carolina, where we're far from a NASCAR track, but that doesn't stop some of the sport's busiest and best from missing a day of racing. The cars are smaller and the speeds are slower, but the racing is real. The racing's really competitive in any series that there is, and um, I figured out that go-karting is just like everything else. Just hours before he has to leave for the race weekend in Texas, Sprint Cup Series driver Casey Kane is at the Mooresville Motorplex in a go-kart, something that's become part of his weekly routine. On Sundays, Kane and fellow driver Denny Hamlin are competitors, but tonight Hamlin is in the role of team owner with Kane as his driver. You're a busy race car driver. You're a dad now, a businessman. You get so precious little <laughs> free time. Why spend it at another racetrack? Um, well, there's so much of the, a lot of the NASCAR community is out here. Uh, truck drivers nationwide cup and it's like we're gonna race you know we're, no matter you give us a, something with a motor and four tires we're gonna race it what started as a hobby has become serious business hamlin broke down a wall to double the size of his rented karting garage during a break he and kane watched computer simulations of a cart run trying to find more speed and this hobby isn't cheap there's guys that have spent 10, 12, 15 thousand dollars on the wow. go karts. Nationwide Series driver Justin Allgaier started karting in January and already upgraded to a newer model. He says the time on the small track helps him in his nationwide car. I tend to, to turn the wheel too much in a stock car, and driving this go kart, it's all about finesse and making sure the wheel is as straight as possible. I tend to overdrive corner entry on, on my stock car, and it translates right into this, and you overdrive corner entry, it's no good either here, so definitely a, a challenge. These top-level drivers do much of the work on the carts themselves, competing for pride rather than prize money. Kyle Larson will likely race professionally more than 100 times this year, yet he's here at the go-kart track each Wednesday. We all look forward to this almost more than anything right now. It's, it's what we all talk about at the racetrack. The stakes may be low, but the competition level is high. And while it's supposed to be fun, none of these drivers want to lose, no matter where the track is. All of us want to be the guy that, that wins races, but also wants to be fast. I mean, we don't want to go out there and look like an idiot. You can ask any of these guys out here that when they have a bad week out actually on the go-kart track, it goes all the way until they race uh, on the weekend. So we just take it seriously. 